BBC Radio Leicester. Now, a zero-budget film that was produced around Loughborough is set to be released this week. So put on a suit, make an impression, and whatever you do, do not be late. <laughs> what happened? Hey. I know you, don't I? You don't like my attitude? Listen, I don't like your face. That's a taster of Do Something Jack, which is a feature film by Rare Films and has, well, it's an international cast and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of local businesses and charities in Loughborough. To tell us a bit more is the screenwriter and film producer, Caroline Spence, and the director, James Smith. Good morning to you both. Good Good morning. morning. It's uh, it's actually Do Something Jake. Sorry, sorry, (laughs) sorry, sorry. That's my fault. Sorry. Bad spelling on my behalf. Sorry. (laughs) Um, uh, Look, as a film producer, Caroline, you have to go and rustle up uh, grants and... uh, uh, business plans and you rustle up, I don't know, 10, 15 million quid for a small film. So how did you do it with nothing? Well, that's a very good question. Um, looking back, I mean, this is nearly three years ago now. We we shot the movie in November 2015 mm. and um, I don't know how we did it. It was just in, in a, a, an insane undertaking. Um, we just decided we wanted to go forward, make a film, um, try and get our first foot on the first rung of the ladder of filmmaking and we just gathered people around us um we auditioned local actors um we we put a call out for for local people who wanted to maybe have a go at Mm. working in the film industry who wanted to have a have a get some work experience and um and we made a few contacts and it just snowballed from there and it just turned into this 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 zero budget movie with um, a large international cast and expansive locations and now we're premiering on Thursday well, and it's a, mad I, look, I, yeah, and if you I sort of assume that when when I saw this you know it was zero uh, budget and stuff it would be in a room with one actor and a, a sort of an avant-garde thing but actually this is a proper feature film involving lots of people James when did you get involved um, well I kind of wrote the initial idea mm. you know treatment and then Caroline uh, took took that and turned it into a proper feature film, full length, 110 minutes. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it is crazy, isn't it? I mean, it's completely mad. But um, I think we started off thinking, well, let, let's do it in a room with, mm. with uh, you know, one guy and all that. Mm. And then we thought, well, maybe this guy, Jake, can go walk down the road and he can see the girl in the shop and then he can, you know, go to the uh, another area of town. And, you know, the locations increased as did the cast so and and, and the way it, the way it should work is as the locations increase the budget increases yeah. because you yeah. need second crews and all that kind of stuff but you've yeah. done it in a different way had you directed a film before um i i'd done short films and music videos and documentaries but nothing on this scale uh, we had a couple of aborted attempts to uh, film a feature film but we were lucky in loughborough because the people were great and the businesses uh, said yeah you can use our pizzeria or or our garage or you know so i think the people of leicester should generally have been great haven't they i mean it's been really excellent experience and uh, you know i'd definitely do it again well, not on no budget, though. <laughs> no, well, no, but it's a learning experience for everybody, isn't yes. it? And it's kind of an exercise in doing something. And, Caroline, it, it strikes me that, that actually without the help of local people, you know, you can imagine other part. Maybe if you'd done it in London and said, can I use your garage as a location? Well, yeah, you sure can, but it's uh, 10 grand for the day or whatever. I don't know. Do, do you know what I mean? But for people to be able to say, yeah, of course, go for your life is, is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The... If if we were to try to do something in London, um, you're absolutely right. They'd have the hand out and they'd, they'd say, yeah, you can do this, but give us a couple of thousand pounds. And that's yeah. not a criticism. That's just absolutely what the market not, is. But that's the, fine. Yeah, the, um, the, they're so used to having filmmakers in London making movies in, in, in London, and it's, it's a beautiful city. And, yeah. Um, but in Loughborough, it's not quite so usual. So everybody's sort of like, wow. Thing People repeatedly said to us, well, this, this kind of thing doesn't happen in Loughborough very often. And um, if ever, yes, please. Let's be honest. Well, <laughs> and yes, please, please. You know, what, how can we help? We want to be involved um, mm. here. Have my, 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 my apartment. You can have it. Here's the keys. Um, you know, go and use it whenever you want. And we were we were given so much trust by the people of mm. of Loughborough, of Corn, and the surrounding villages, to use their 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 properties for locations. And um, they they were so trusting and. Uh, we couldn't have done it without them. It was just, um, it was an amazing experience. James, the thing that strikes me as well, though, is if you're not paying people, it would be easy to say, well, you know, they're giving their best, but actually you've striven to make this as good, as good and high quality as you possibly can, and that means, 
you know, uh, retaking stuff, critiquing actors, maybe. Um, expect, you know, a completely professional approach to it, but just nobody gets a paycheck at the end of the day. Yeah, well, we kind of said to people, you know, it's great to have on your track record because a feature film on your on your CV is a big thing. And, um, you know, and also we, we had a, like a deferred fee agreement, which is kind of done in this no low budget arena whereby you put the effort in. And if, if the film goes on to make money, which we hope it does, then they all get paid back eventually, including us, actually. <laughs> well, <laughs> Be yeah, nice. well, you've spent a lot of time on it, haven't you? I mean, that's, oh, the, yeah. that's the point. So really what happens tough. to it now? Well, um, it's finished. Um, we've got a BBFC certificate of 15, so, which means we can screen it in, the, in any cinema in the country. Um, so we're premiering it this Thursday in Loughborough in the Odeon. Oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> well, you couldn't have premiered it anywhere else, surely. No, well, this is it. I mean, we, we, um, we shot the film in Loughborough. It was Loughborough people that mm. m- helped make it possible. We couldn't possibly premiere it anywhere else. Um, so we've we booked a, well through through an organisation called Our Screen, which mm. is a cinema on demand organisation that enables people to independent, particularly independent filmmakers, to screen their movies in mm. proper real life cinemas, and um, using using their their system. And in it's it's worked so far for us. We we booked the biggest screen we could, yeah. and we we're cruising past two hundred tickets sold now. Wow. And, um, yeah, we're very excited to uh, see what the audience reaction is going to be. James, have you seen it on the big screen yet? I have, yes. And what's it, because it is, I mean, it's a fundamentally different thing, isn't it? From your yeah, I mean, computer it, was, screen or it was unbelievable. You know, the computer screen experience is much different. Mm. I think there's a lot of this thing that everyone, everyone's watching things on the iPlayer and on Netflix now, but when you see it on a big screen, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. And I, I did learn a lot from that. And in fact, we were saying, weren't we, that the acting performances do come through very well. So we're quite proud that we, we feel that the actors are really acting well. Mm. And then when you see it on the big screen, that is really apparent, actually. So it's quite exciting, as Caroline says. <laughs> well, the best look. So when can people go and see it? So it's um, there are still tickets available if they go on to um, uh, do something Jake dot com yeah. um, and just follow the links on the front page. Uh, there are still tickets available for the twentieth um, this Thursday, twentieth um, of September in the Odeon in Loughborough, Great. and um, uh, it's around six o'clock. Thank you afternoon. so much for coming. The best of luck. And then presumably you want to do more screenings and sort of dip your toe in the water and see what happens. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. We're, we're planning to... We'll see how, you know, how it mm. goes on Thursday. Then we want to maybe branch out and do a screening in London. Wow. And um, because we've got um, an American actor in our movie from New York, we would dearly love to have a screening over there in Wouldn't New York and see just see how far we can take it yeah. it's you know Loughborough in America in Loughborough. New York that would be something today corn tomorrow Broadway yeah, we think we're terming a, a new uh, coining a new phrase Luffywood which is the <laughs> so we're going to open a new Luffy. studio in Loughborough no, 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 I'm all for that <laughs> the best really the best of luck with it and of course the great thing is that in a sense you, you, you get lots of interest because it's a no budget full length feature film and that's a vanishingly rare I can't Think of an, I can't think of another one. I did a bit of a search around. I can't find anybody else that's done the 410 minute long number. Uh, no. It's extraordinary. The best of luck. I thank hope you it goes much. brilliantly well. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank 22 you. minutes past nine.